Brian J at a uh, buy right record store on Seven Mile. I used to come in there with these cassettes and he wanted to hear his beats on the system. And see, buy right record store is probably the only record store I've been in where there was a system in there. We're talking about a club-like system. I mean, it was bumping in buy right. And he used to come in there with these tapes. And James just give me a taste, you put them in there, and he'll sit and listen to them, and no, nah, I need to turn that down, I need to turn this down. Cool cat, just come in with a couple of his cats. Um, later on, he became uh, JD. Or he's probably JD then. Uh, he always wanted to hear uh, the 12 inches of whatever's new on hip hop, but he wanted to hear the instrumental, you know. I guess that was his competition, and, you know, that's what he wanted to hear. He'll go back, come back about a week later, and he done chopped up some, some more shit, which was incredible. And uh, a couple times we invited him down to the Outcast, which me and Mactron uh, used to DJ down there. And uh, he finally came down there one day and he gave us uh, the cassette of some track he played. And we played it during our, our hip hop uh, section. Um, and it was, it was sweet. A lot of people didn't get into it at the time, and then like midway through it, or like about 40 seconds into the track, the 808 came in, and that's when everybody was like, yeah. Then he came back about three weeks later, because he was just at all at the club. Like most people, when you came to the Outcast, you just couldn't, you were stunned, so. But he came back the week later, and we was playing, playing it on 45. And we had to, get, you know, we, we turned it up, and we were spinning it fast. And he was like, yeah. Yeah. What a uh, what a lot of people don't know is that, um, you know, Dilla was a workaholic. He he made beats all the time. He had beats he would used to put on tapes and just give them to people. Or how's this sound? Or left them, you know. Everybody in Detroit got something from Dilla that either probably hasn't been out or, or was from years ago or uh, uh, who knows. I mean, I, I, Lord knows I wish I would have kept some of them tapes. You know, I, I was stupid, young, recording over a nice high, nice, nice high bias tape. I'm about to put some new mix on it after I heard his track, you know. But his legacy is all over the city, all over the world. You understand? People didn't even know hip hop. And to Dilla, you know, a lot of these young cats call hip hop, they that's that Dilla music. You understand? Last time I saw Dilla was at, uh, what, it was either at Cheetahs, or was at the All, All Stars, where we really sat down and had somewhat of a conversation. And he had just got back from somewhere and he looked and uh, he looked at me and was like, you was just over in uh, Paris. And I was like, yeah, how you know? And he was like, cause I just got back. And we believe we was on the same plane, didn't see each other. But anyway, we did all that. Now we're sitting over here in Detroit looking at looking at these women and and while we were talking, this girl sitting next to us kind of overheard uh, uh, did a dog say, uh, yeah, we was over in Paris. And she looked at me and was like, is that on the east side? <laughs> me and Dilla was like, uh, yeah, it's on the east side. What's up with the hat? Yeah, this is this is a campaign hat, baby. Don't this is a Detroit thing. Don't don't be asking me them kind of questions. You understand? What's up with that? This ain't for you. This ain't for y'all. Don't worry about what's up with the hat. That's no info. But what's up with the hat? Did that nigga just ask me what's up with the hat? Detroit, it down, it down, and the Dilla Foundation. And you know, just showing support for the whole movement. You know, not just for Dilla, not just for hip hop, for for Detroit and 
and the young producers around the world. You know, this is this is a worldwide situation, you know, and, and, and that is a blessing. And um, I'm all for anything positive. I don't care. You know, make it happen. You know, I'm with it. Um, yeah. And yeah, my man, don't ask me about this hat no more.